for Baiju's. So major relief coming in there for Baiju's. Many thanks for all those details, Ashmit. But moving on, CSI is a cybersecurity firm that uses the power of forensic intelligence with advanced technology to deliver uncompromised security. The firm has recently been awarded a government patent for a first-of-its-kind system designed to manage Aadhaar data. That's not all. It has also partnered with Dayanan Sagar University to establish a center of excellence in cybersecurity. Joining me now to discuss the firm's growth story is Darshan Shantamurthy, the founder and CEO of CISA. Darshan, thank you so much for taking time out and being here on the show with us. You know, uh, first up, I have to ask you, you were awarded a government patent for your first-of-a-kind system designed to manage Aadhaar data. Can you tell us a little bit more about this technology and how it works? Absolutely. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me on, uh, on the show. Uh, it's a great honor. Um, one, in terms of Aadhaar patent, uh, one of the key things is today data is just not the new oil. It's also the new plastic. Um, and consequently, data is thrown across the entire corporate environment. Now, how do you get control over this data um, so that at the end of the day, we have acts uh, like DPDP Act, which is going to come in and which is going to have a huge amount of penalties in case uh, there is a data breach. So the tool essentially kind of discovers data on an automated basis and helps organization get control over the data by giving suggestions in terms of how it can remediate by removing the data if they don't require it, if it needs to get protected, encrypted, so on and so forth. So it's a, it's a major uh, accomplishment uh, for us as an industry to have figured out a way to uh, discover data in the corporate environment because it's thrown across all throughout. Especially post COVID, yeah. Absolutely, there's so much data out there, and also there has been, you know, some massive data breaches where crows of people's personal data has been leaked onto the internet, right? So, you know, tell us how you help organizations handle the sensitive data. How are you helping them approach this in a sense? Uh, one of the key things is we have uh, we also have a solution which essentially helps, uh, you know, kind of uh, get control over this data. Uh, one, of course, which you spoke about is the Aadhaar data discovery, but then the tool also kind of discovers personal information within the environment. Uh, one is on the prevention side. The other is, of course, uh, making sure that the enterprises are able to defend their network uh, by detecting intrusions. At the end of the day, there are breaches, uh, you know, statistically uh, proven that uh, you know, data is around that there's a breach every 39 seconds. Uh, so in some sense, organizations are being penetrated. Uh, and so we have solutions which are able to detect and respond uh, at the end of the day so that organizations can stop the intruder from taking up the data. Absolutely. And, you know, uh, since you, you are a cybersecurity firm, talk to us about uh, all of the kind of solutions that you have on offer. What, what are you basically serving to your customers? And, you know, what are the biggest challenges you face today when it comes to cybersecurity? Uh, so one of the key things, I mean, as a cybersecurity firm, we chase problems, right? Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, we are a forensics-driven cybersecurity, as you rightly introduced us. So one of the key things that we have an advantage is, uh, I mean, we are a global forensic investigator, uh, we are one of the leading investigators and one of the few ones recognized from India, especially in the digital payment industry. So we have, uh, we one of the key things that we do because of our nature of investigations is we get to know the problems, why organizations get compromised. So all our solutions are developed in order to defend and protect organizations from getting compromised. So we have that intelligence flowing into all our solutions. And so we've kind of developed all our solutions either from the prevention side, uh, you know, our continuous compliance and testing solutions, or our detection and response in terms of identifying uh, breaches, uh, you know, from intruders when they actually have penetrated the network, or for matter on the data protection side. Uh, right. So, so multiple uh, sets of solutions in order to defend uh, a corporate or a or a or a you know or a or a company in order to make sure that they are secure. Yeah. So multiple sets of solutions there. So then, give us a, a, a sense of the kind of sectors you're working across to help minimize data breaches. What's your you know client base currently looking like? So one of the key things we've been in the business for the last 18 years, uh, we've grown up as, uh, you know, as an, as an assessor in the digital payment industry, and we continue to focus on it. For us, the digital payment industry is a high value target uh, because that's where the money is. And that's where the intruders are highly motivated to break in because it's a high value target. When you say digital payment industry, it includes banks, financial institutions, uh, e-commerce, uh, healthcare, where payments are actually accepted for settling transactions. So anywhere where digital payment in, uh, you know, are accepted or processed is typically our customers. Uh, we have who's who of the digital payment industry, not just in India, but across the world. And literally about six out of 10 digital payment transactions in some sense. Uh, I mean, organizations which uh, are there in the digital payment industry are our customers. 
uh, and and we we help uh, protect defend them from cyber attacks all right so you know the digital payment space being where you know most of your clients are at but you've also partnered with dayanand sagar university to establish a center of excellence in cyber security right so can you elaborate on these plans any more centers like this that you hope to open uh, absolutely it's a brilliant question and uh, so one of the key things is uh, talent is a is a scarce resource uh, especially in cyber security and, and we all know that right so for every one position uh, uh, you know for every three positions open there's only one position one person available for that in terms of talent and and that's a global uh, challenge and one of the key things is uh, what we are trying to do is partner with uh, universities which are investing heavy in future of cyber security not just building cyber security solutions for the you know our cyber security talent for the current problems that we are facing but future so so dhanan sagar is actually making uh, making tremendous amount of investments um, you know in, in terms of uh, building skills for the future and and one of the key things that we are trying to do is by opening these incubation centers giving practical exposure to students which is which is the biggest uh, you know complaint by industry as well that the talent does not is not readily uh, you know usable for uh, for the industry so one of the key things that we have uh, struck this partnership is and it's also in line with the budget uh you know on the focus from the government as well to to uh you know to upskill uh through the internship program and so on and so forth so that's uh, the program that we uh, you know that's a partnership that we signed up with dayanand sagar and we're looking forward to sign up more such partnerships uh with uh, universities which are investing in the future of cyber security right so partnering with uh, with those universities that are uh, you know investing in the future of cyber security is key as talent is crucial uh, but thank you so much for joining us on the show we're completely out of time and we wish you all the best on your journey going forward